This ferret's name is Elizabeth Ann, and she's a clone. She's 100% genetically identical to a ferret that died back in the 80s named Willa. Cloning endangered animals can make you feel a lot of different ways, ethically, morally. I'm not going to tell you how to feel, I'm just going to tell you the facts. None of today's black-footed ferrets are descendants of Willa. Her genetics were totally lost. Which is a big deal because every ferret that exists today is descended from just seven individuals. Well, except for Elizabeth Ann. Every ferret that's produced in captivity has to go through really rigorous mate selection so that there's no inbreeding and you don't end up with like a Habsburg situation. Captive breeding has worked really well for this species. There's been more than 4,000 ferrets produced through it and there's more than 350 free living in the wild. So you might be wondering what's the point of cloning if you can already produce ferrets naturally. 